If a major disaster struck and you couldn't live in your home, would you have a place to go? Well, one man says his invention could provide safe shelter for everybody within two hours. New Central Stacy Butler steps inside the dome home. It's 10 o'clock on a weekday morning. A 7.8 quake strikes the Southland at the San Andreas Fault. 55 seconds later, the shaking stops. Thousands of buildings collapse. Bridges and overpasses crumble. All lifelines crossing into Southern California at the Cajon Pass and at the 10, unpassable. Red Cross shelters are either destroyed or inaccessible. 1,800 will die. You're going to have 7 million people caught in this valley with no water, no food, no electricity, and no way to get out. Are you ready? There is going to be no cavalry riding over the hill if it happens. It's going to be survival of the fittest in this valley. Don Kubley claims he has an answer. What we have is a building that goes up as fast as a tent, and once it's up, it's stronger than City Hall. You can bury it. It's called the Solar Dome. Welcome, Dome. He's so convinced it's the answer. He spoke before Congress. Now, FEMA is considering the Solar Dome to be the emergency shelter of choice across the nation. Which means we can get a lot of them on site immediately for first responders, for MASH style hospital units, triage facilities, uh, shelter for the victims. It has all the comforts of home. But the makers of Intershelter Dome say it's a lot safer. It can withstand winds up to 200 miles per hour, temperatures from 120 Fahrenheit to 70 below. And if you want to store it, it fits into a box that stands no higher than this table. Here's how it works. All you need is a screwdriver, a wrench, and a stepladder. 21 panels, shaped like potato chips, overlap, and they're bolted together. Kubli says three people can put it together in just two hours. It breaks down in just 40 minutes. It can be stored for use over and over again. Don Kubli is making the domes in Bakersfield. He supplies them to the Alaska National Guard and the British Army. But with the threat of wildfires and earthquakes, he says the Southland is at the top of his priority list. What happens in downtown L.A. if you got an 8-0 or bigger earthquake? He showed up at City Hall to pitch his idea. You can put a 500 square foot building in the back of a pickup truck and have it up in a matter of a couple hours. Once it's up, it's indestructible. Ellis Stanley was with the Los Angeles Emergency Preparedness Department for 25 years. We have to look at, uh, from a, a planning perspective, is how can we probably stockpile these things. He was directed by FEMA to come up with emergency shelters for the Southland. This is a great alternative. This is a great additional resource that they can add to their arsenal. We really have to look at a worst case situation, and we have to be prepared for it. Stacey Butler, News Central.